Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP, I'm Lyndall Stout. As we know, finding quality hay can be a real challenge, but getting it tested doesn't have to be. SUNUP's Austin Moore picks it up from here. Richard Pratt's runs a cow-calf operation in Noble and Payne counties. Typically we'll have uh, seven, eight, nine hundred bales uh, for the winter. Uh, this year it was about half that. The drought was simply too severe, so much so that Richard even bailed a failed milo crop. We've just bailed up everything we can bail up because the grain's no good. But with every crop, not just the milo, Richard tests regularly. Well, I think it's uh, very important because uh, you can actually lose a cow um, because of the high, high nitrates in the hay. But this year for Richard Pratt's, testing is about more than his animal's health. We've cut back tremendously on our cow herd. So we've uh, liquidated a lot of cows. Uh, so we don't have a lot of use for the hay this year. So in turn, we're selling. We're selling hay. And his buyers want to see the results of a hay test. They want to know that information. Uh, they don't want to lose any cows either. I asked Payne County Extension Director Nathan Anderson to show us how to collect a sample. Tell me about the tools you've got here. How are we going to take this sample? Well, this is just one version of, of various kinds of hay samplers that are, that are out there on the market. This is a tube shape made out of simple PVC pipe. Shoving this, this front rod into the bale, that way you're getting various parts of the field. Right. And if we go at angles, we're, we're hitting all different forages from different locations across the field the way the bales are rolled up. Right. Show us what we're talking about here in terms of this bale. How, how are we getting in here? I mean, you're saying basically as we go in, you're getting in different parts of the field, right? Right. Well, the, uh, obviously this bale's rolled up right. this way. If we start with the hay sampler and, and some people come in from the side or through here, at least we go through an ang at an angle, we're getting forages from all over the field. If I went straight in this away, you're getting it from one place. I'm getting it from one location in the field. Right. I want a test that is going to test the entire crop and best represent the entire crop. Very good. So if I go at an angle, I'm getting various layers from various plants from various parts of the field. And I don't just pull the sample from a one hay bale. I will pull it from many bales that are cut from that field. And from different parts of the stack here, obviously, so they're, they're spread out as they're well. They're going to be spread out from and have better representation across the field. Okay. Now, with this kind of sampler, how do we get in there, right? Is it just, well, just, just kind pure, of pure force? Or? Pure, pure force, just shoving that bale in. Okay. That spike, then you got a ramrod and you push it back right. into this holding tube. These bales hadn't been rolled up all that long. Okay. If I had a short tube on here and I waited till February to test this, that outer hay would be damaged. Right. It would have some loss of quality. But you know, you want a representation of the to get further in and get further in and get the quality there. forge that's in there. Right. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got all plant parts that's going to be consumed by the cow. So a little bit of everything that's in there. Stalk, leaves, seed heads that might be in this or other okay. forge types. Now how do we get this actually to the lab from here? We'll bag this up here in our county. Uh, we have to put our county codes on it. Right. It is sent by the county extension educator. Okay. The lab does its work and sends a report back to us. Right. Now the bag itself, the, the, there is a special bag to use, but if a producer doesn't have those, do, do they get them from y'all or what do they do? They can get them from us, but you can bring it in in your own bag. A gallon size bag, Ziploc bag is, is a really good volume okay. to bring in when you're getting a good quality hay Just test. good and stuff full of that. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate your time today and we'll take that sample in and take a look at it. Thank you very much. This is the sample that we got yesterday from the Pratt's farm of, of their hay. Once we bring it here to you at the lab, let's talk about what happens next. All right. Well, actually, they did a good job to pack the samples. So the next step is to find the right tests. We have several different tests here, like protein. That's very important uh, quality for hay. 
Uh, some people want to know the nitrate level for Sudan grass or this type of uh, mill pearl millet. Sometimes they have a high nitrate in the um, plant samples. And there are other tests also, like uh, fiber, water content, minerals. They just need to check the right box. We'll do the rest. Okay. okay. So as far as uh, analysis, after we receive the sample, we would log them in into our computer system first. Then we put it in the oven to dry overnight. Okay. And uh, after the sample is dried, we'll use a grinder to grind the sample. Okay, and what's the purpose of grinding the sample and, and getting it down to that format, I guess? Well, we only using a small amount to do our test. We have to homogenize our sample. Grinding is the essential process to mix them very well to reduce the size. That way we can get accurate tests. Now we're next door and we have the samples and what happens next? Well, after the sample is prepared, it's already made, well mixed, then we bring them here to do a test. This is an instrument measures carbon and nitrogen. Basically, we use this instrument to determine the protein percentage of the hay. Um, what it does is we put a small amount of sample in a combustion tube. You will burn the sample, release nitrogen, and then we calculate the protein percentage from this instrument. So it measures all of that? Yes. And then there's some other testing that goes on here in this lab too? Yes, uh, there are multiple tests we can do. This instrument right here is for fiber analysis. Fiber is something not very digestible. So sometimes you have a low protein, maybe the fiber is low, maybe that's a low quality indication. And then we have some other instrument in the next room okay. if you follow me. Let's go take a look. Now this instrument is used to measure nitrate. Nitrate is not using a same instrument. This one is called a fluid injection autoanalyzer. Basically we extract the uh, nitrate to water and then put the sample in the tube like this. Uh, this is an auto sampler send sample to the instrument and the different columns here will tell us the amount of nitrate in the sample. That way we can tell farmers whether their samples are high nitrate or not, whether it's safe or not to feed their livestock. Okay, and then there's another test you do as well? Yes, we have right another door. room for other tests. Another important uh, test we do is minerals, like phosphorus, calcium content of the hay. So this instrument can tell us exactly the amount of phosphorus and uh, calcium and other nutrients in there. This instrument is called ICP. Uh, it's a state-of-the-art equipment. It can a analyze many minerals simultaneously. And it has an auto sampler. It can allow us to do a lot of samples in a short time frame. Okay, great information. Thanks for showing us around. You're welcome.